Happy Saturday. It is July uh, 2nd, right? Yeah. Happy uh, 4th of July weekend. And um, I'm thinking, oh, you know what? You better put some makeup on. You got to go a couple places today. And I thought, hmm, it's Saturday. No, it might not be 10 a.m. like you're used to, but here I am. And you know what I thought? I'll just put on most of what I got going on. And I'm just going to play with you guys doing a color look card today. So I've got hazelish green eyes, I guess. Um, so I've already got my foundation primer on. I've got my lip primer on. I've got my eye primer on. Um, I've got my concealer on. I've got my CC cream on. I've got my eyebrows on. So I'm just going to play in some color with you guys today. But let me tell you, uh, listen, you guys, if you are not using primers and we're in July, don't wonder why your makeup is falling off your face. Don't don't wonder. Don't wonder. Don't wonder why it's not lasting. We got to help it a little bit. Cold, winter, if you're in Michigan, you know, your makeup can stand a little bit better. But listen, humidity and stuff like that really is a ruckus for makeup. So anyway, um, you want something that's going to be breathable on your face. And all the Mary Kay products obviously are. But you got to, you got, you want your primers. So you want your eye primer, your face primer, your lip primer. And your buddy right here is the finishing spray. Got to give it a shake. 16 hours. This is the little secret weapon that I use when I, you know, tan my legs. Anyways, I just, I'll stop harping about the primers. Okay. We'll just jump right into the color. So we're going to be doing the color card for green and hazel eyes. Okay. And what's super cool about these um, we do, we use these color cards, come on over to studio pink and we'll do a quick little facial on you and get you uh, lined up with a CC cream. Um, if CC cream is in your jam, we can color match you with our time wise matte or luminous foundation. And why do I say time wise? Like it's a big deal. Cause it is a big deal. It's anti-aging, anti-aging foundation. Yes. Anti-aging foundation. So that's really cool. We also have a cream to powder foundation. Anyways, point is, is we will color match you, expert color match you for your foundation. You know, do you ever look at your face and you're like, this is not the right color after you bought it? And then what? You taking it back to CVS? I don't know what you're doing. But anyways, you can take it back to me. But we will color select you. Okay. So then you got to, um, anyways, after we do this. Woo, I got so sidetracked. Anyway, then uh, we use these cards. So we can do a really super cool look from the book. Remember the book that we've been working out of? Yes, these wonderful color looks. Or we've got a color look for green eyes. We've got a color look for brown eyes. We've got a color look for blue eyes. There we go. So that's what we're going to be working with today. I wanted to show you the colors up live and impersonal in a compact. How pretty, right? So this is what we're using today. And I will definitely put all the colors for sure in the, you know, comments below. So what we got here is uh, Blossom. Blossom. Merlot. And then that other color is uh, Sunlit Rose right here. And then right here, the blush is Rosy Nude. That's a really popular one. Almost everybody could use it. Now, listen, before I forget, I'm going to be starting something really super cool new because you know we go live every single Thursday at 8 o'clock doing something, talking about something. So here's what we're going to do. Every time I go live, when we have 10 people watching live. Now, I'm on three different platforms. So better chances for you. But when we have three people watch, or, sorry, 10 people watching live, I am going to draw for free mascara. Yeah. Yeah. So anyways, we normally go live for sure. Hands down. Definitely. Thursdays at 8 PM, Thursdays at 8 PM for sure. Now, if you catch me live, you know, in another, in another, like Saturdays, I try to go live Saturdays Catch me live Saturdays. If we got 10 people live, I'm going to do a drawing for a free mascara. So anyways, that's a little thing there. Okay, so here we go. I've got my face on. I got all my prepping done. I got all my primers done. 
what I love about these cards, just like the book that we've been using, is it tells you exactly what to do. So we are going to use the Sunlit Rose. We're going to apply shade one on the eyelid. How do I know it's shade one? Check this out, you guys. Look at this. Is it focusing? Maybe I need to pull it back a little bit. Shade one is on the eyelid. Is that coming through? I think it is. There we go. So we're going to do that first. So we're just going to use the all over eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to go in and it's the middle color. It is now, you know, you know, the Chroma Fusion. I always go like this and then I go like this. Just once, just give it a little one tap. Okay, so I'm just going to apply it to the lid. Now, I like to take uh the shadow especially because i've got the eye primer on which is like a miracle product it takes the eyeshadow like that it doesn't you're not running all over your eyelid with it i like to pat it on right so i don't like going back and forth i mean i do once the product's in there and on there but i like to pat, I like to pat the product on the lid before I start doing this business. Does that make sense? And you know, one of the things I learned very quickly that I loved about, you know, I've been with Mary Kay for over 25 years. When one of my daughters, my Megan, she went to work for Ulta while she was in high school, I think. And, um, you, you know what I noticed a lot of, and you know, you don't think about it when you're in it, right? Is she would bring home these pellets, right? And I'm not down in the pallets. I'm not down. What I'm downing is that I would see her blow through a palette that had maybe eight colors and she used three of them, like, or four of them, like, and she never touched the other colors. So then it got to a point where she would have to like, is she using this palette anymore? It's just kind of, I'm like, oh, that's sad. So like, what's really cool about this, oopsie, <laughs> didn't need to hit you there. Okay, so what's cool about this, guess what? You can see which one I'm using the most of, right? Yeah, the light one, right? Well, guess what? Super cool uh, stuff here. Once it's gone, I call my Mary Kay consultant and I say, hey, I need um, Blastom. And how do I know that I need Blastom? Oh, because it's on the back. I hope that's focusing because I don't have my... Anyways, it's printed back here. So then guess what? You get to keep your favorite palette with your other colors that you don't use a whole lot. Because I'm going to tell you right now, one of my favorite colors is that Merlot, that real, real dark one. But uh, I don't hardly blow through that as fast as I blow through the other one. So anyway, it's just a little side line up there. Okay, so I got sunlit rose on it does have a little bit of a sparkle which is super fun um and now our next is going to be apply shade two in the crease starting at the outer corner period okay so i'm going to grab my crease brush all right and i'm going to grab my merlot again i like to i always have like paper towels or kleenex down here so what i do is uh I take this, right, and I do one time, one time, just take it off. So it said start in the outer corner. So I'm going to turn it around a little bit, right, so that the high point's right there, because they want me to start at the outer corner. <laughs> I can't see. Okay, right there. And I'm going to start at the outer corner. Now, again, I'm going to tap it on. This Merlot is gorgeous. Gorgeous, you guys. But it is definitely pigmented. It's it's definitely Chroma Fusion eyeshadows are great for 12 hours. It's like they took our mineral eyeshadow and cream eyeshadows and scamushed them together to make this crazy Chroma Fusion eyeshadow that lasts 12 hours. Okay. Okay. You see where I'm going with this? All right, so I'm going to do the other one. That says to work from the outer edge. You don't have to be afraid. This is a crease brush. 
Now with my eye lid shape and the whole business, I used to have what they call standard eyes. Now with um, all the days I've been on this earth, <laughs> this skin right here, you guys, is kind of going over my lid. I know, I know. So all you got to do to fix that, I learned, I learned. I didn't wake up and know this stuff, right? I learned. You put the, you put it right up here. You put it a little bit higher, a little bit higher. Okay, now don't forget, when you make comments, if we have 10 people live, when, when, not if, when, when we have 10 people live, we're going to do a drawing for a mascara. Yes, so make sure and put your comments in there. Okay, so I need a little bit more right here in the crease. I love Merlot so much. It is so pretty, especially for the green hazel eye chickies. Okay, that's it right there. Put the glasses back on. All right, so now we're at number three. Number three is Blossom. It's a color that I use constantly. You see where they're doing number three? All right, number three. Okay, so it says apply shade three to brow bone and inner corner of eye. Now, for this, I'm going to use our blending brush. Okay, it's a little bit taller. It has a little bit more give, a little bit more give than the all over, which makes it a great brush to blend with. And uh, it just moves easier on the eyelid. Have you ever put your eyeshadow on and then got to blending? And then you looked again and you had no eyeshadow left because you done blended it right out of your eye? Yeah. So you use a brush like this and that won't happen. Okay, so now we're going to get right back into here, into the blossom that I use often. And I like, now, with this one, I, I don't tap anything off because I want it all now I'm going to start with the inner, like it said, inner, and then it wants it on the brow. Okay, I'm going to apply that. Okay, and as I'm as I'm doing it, do you guys ever do that? Get a little droppage. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye in the corner first. If you have dark corners there, that's why we put the lighter eyeshadow there. You don't want dark corners there. No dark corners. Blossom is a matte uh, finish. So the first one that we put on, the Sunlit Rose, Shimmer, Merlot, Matte, Blossom, Matte. Okay? Okay. So then I just, I got it applied. Now I'm blending. I'm just doing these cute little circles. Just taking off the harsh lines. You want to kind of make sure they're even. But like I said, what's great about this brush is that it's not going to wipe off what you've put on. It's it's really, it's you got to experience. You got to you got to get a blending brush. It's re they're really nice. Okay. Q-tips are our friend. However, if you have your foundation brush lay in right there you can actually come around and just whoop, go like that and then you're all good but q-tips i'm pretty sure i keep the q-tip company in business because i love q-tips i use them so often to just do cute quick little cleanups i just love q-tips anyway there we go Okay, now looking here, good. Okay, so now I am going to uh, grab my brow. I chose uh, deep brown eyeliner. So I'm just gonna go on the top of the lids. And what I'm gonna do is, if you've seen before, we like to set our eyeliner with just a touch of eyeshadow. And today I'm going to use Merlot because it's a favorite. I do sometimes line the bottom, you know, under my bottom eyelashes. 
but most of the time I just do the top. I like the bottom too. I just, I don't know. That's good. All right. So now I'm going to grab my eyebrow brush. It's my eyebrow and eyeliner. It's both on the same one. Grab my uh, compact. And I'm going to get a little bit on there of the Merlot. I am going to give it a tap because we don't want a bunch of fallout. That Merlot is pretty dark. It's pretty pigmented. So the whole thing about this little trick is that you're applying the Chroma Fusion on top of the amazing eyeliner. And it's going to set it. Do you have to do that? No. Do I like doing it because I do everything twice? Because <laughs> I have a problem like that? Yeah. I don't like coming back and redoing things in the event. In the event. I don't like if. I don't like that. Nope. So I just kind of give it that little extra. doesn't take that much longer. And I am set. Like this, if I didn't wash my face at night, this would probably last uh, into tomorrow because it's set. Okay. This is just my all over powder brush. Okay. So super cool, right? All right. I have my ultimate black mascara. I'm going to put on my top eyelashes. So when you take it out, you get in here as far as you can without blinking and you wiggle it out get in there will it wiggle it out you're applying the mascara and then you can just kind of start pulling it through okay with the ultimate mascara it comes in black and brown together so it's a little lighter or you can get it in black that's in the ultimate mascara I remember when this mascara came out. I was so excited. It's been a long time. And it has, it's one of those mascaras, you know, that has been around a long time. And for good reason, because it, it's amazing. It's amazing. I remember pre Mary Kay. I used to use the mascara that is a pink and green bottle. And you know what? That one's still around too. You know, I believe that there's a lot of great products out in the world, right? Of course. But I don't believe that you can get the quality of product for the price you can get with Mary Kay. I believe that quality products that stand parallel to Mary Kay are a lot more. That you, you, can, you can get better, but you're going to have to pay a lot more. So you, or you can get about the same, you know, but you're going to pay more is what I meant to say that came out wrong. Okay. All right. So, all right. I mean, like as a consultant, I can come down here and grab a mascara for eight bucks. Pretty good. Okay. Pretty, pretty. I got to check to see if I have any cleanup. All right, now I've got my blush brush, right? And I'm going to use my Rosy Nude. I'm going to put it right there on the middle. Now, I'm going to start here. This is how I learned when I was a consultant in 1996. <laughs> and then I'm just going to go here at the apple and then pull it up. All right, blend, 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 blend. So be sure to comment if you jump down because I can't see a thing. Because when we have 10, every time we go live now, fun! We, every time we have 10 live watchers, we're gonna do a drawing for a free mascara. Hello, can you get excited about a free mascara? I can get excited about it. and I get mine for eight bucks. Okay. So yeah, so uh, we're going to get that started. And uh, like with today's, today's the first time. So, you know, we go live every Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 
So you want a free mascara, get some cheeky girlfriends on the a Thursday night. Watch for our lives. And um, yeah, this is going to be in our Facebook group. But of course, if you're watching live on YouTube, be sure to drop a comment. And I'll count those ones too as part of our 10. All right. There we go. Now, and the lipstick, you guys, is Rosewood. Oh, sorry. You know what? I meant to show you this. So number four, right? Number four. And number four says, dust onto apples of cheek and blend, right? Okay. So now we've got lipstick. We've got the Rosewood lipstick. I had to pull a sample. I couldn't find my two. I'm like, I know I've got it. Rosewood is such a pretty color. It's pretty neutral. But it's got that little hint of pink. It's a, it's one of my best sellers. Rosewood, raspberry ice. And the rosewood is a semi-shine. There we go. Now, pretty, right? Really pretty. I love it. So now I'm going to use my all-over brush and my translucent powder. This is a shade for anybody. And I like to just pat it here, get a little bit here, and just taking out some of the, it like gets me photograph ready. Kind of, do you ever look at your uh, makeup and think, oh, I just need to set it. I just need to give it that finishing touch. This is the finishing touch. I love this. It's milled six times more. It's not going to fall into any cracks and crevices. It's not going to make any wrinkles look worse at all. Actually, it'll make it look better. Okay, you guys, that's it. There we go. And hope that you learned a little something. And if you have any questions about any of the products, go ahead and um, let me know. But we've got this super cool compact. That's what it looks like when it's shut. I think these are 18. But what's great is that you can put some, you know, little baby applicators in there. Or you could actually fit a whole nother look. This is a magnet. And you can fit a whole nother look. So you could do three more eyeshadows. Or you could actually put a contour here and a highlighter here. Sky's the limit. It's like a little jigsaw puzzle. You put in there whatever you want. All right, you guys. Have a great day. Have a happy 4th of July. And I might see you again this holiday weekend. You never know. All right. See you later.